Hello everyone, this is uh, your favorite pervert Romer here, and today we are doing something a little interesting. Now as you may notice, you can see that the camera is in a different angle, and why do you ask? Well that's because I decided to try a testing video where I would use my new uh, tripod, uh, which is basically a rubber, um, rubber adhesive, uh, in, branches out into three angles, and basically um, use it, acts as a support whenever I can't uh, do it from a different angle. So this is something I'm trying out. Um, looks like it does stick well with some tiles, so they said to attach it to some non-porous surfaces. So I figured I might use this opportunity to make some very toasty um, hot chocolate for the holiday season. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna start out with two cups of milk, which is we have right here. You know, it, may, it looks like one big, one small cup, but this is actually the, the equivalent of 400 milliliters of milk. And I'll be using 3.25% milk. We got uh, two tablespoons of sugar here. This is uh, sugar cane that I'm using because I like to be as organic as possible because you know what they say, once you've had real, there's no other deal. And then we've got here some cocoa powder. This is actually low fat organic cocoa powder. And then in this little shot glass, we have the um, we have the equivalent of one eighth of vanilla extract, which this one contains only water, vanilla extract, and ethyl alcohol. And the reason why I put ethyl alcohol in here is so that you could have that confidence to talk to those ladies and making make you feel smooth without having any regrets. And of course, last but not least, we also got the equivalent of one quarter cup. Well, the the recipe calls for one quarter cup of chocolate chips. But I figured I would do something a little bit more organic and use some and use like a, a chocolate uh, with pure cacao grain free uh, granola just to try it out. You know, gots to be healthy. And the best thing about this is that there's no artificial ingredients. There's no soy, no gelatin, no sulfates, uh, no gluten in it. So you can feel you could so you could still feel healthy while being uh, while being nice and perverted desiring more in a very healthy way. After all, when you desire the right things, then nothing can screw up. All right, so let's get to it. So we're going to start off. Uh, ideally, you want to use a you want to use a saucepan that's not made out of aluminium. But in my case, I do have aluminium. Yes, that's right. I say aluminium. So bugger off. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this milk and we're going to pour it into the saucepan. We're going to do it nice and gently like so. Okay, very good. Got that going. And now we're going to get this out of the way and mix in the sugar and the cocoa powder. Like this. Voila. Just like that. Now after we do that, we're just going to put the heater on to a medium or high heat, like that. And we're going to whisk occasionally for about five minutes, like so. So while we're whisking away with something nice and wooden, the way everybody likes their, um, like certain parts of their, uh, certain parts of them stirred up with something wooden, I want to ask you all, how y'all doing? Doing good? I know I've been uh, feeling, uh, I've actually been feeling much better ever since I had my epidural injection. For those who don't know, I suffered a disc, what turned out to be a disc herniation uh, back in mid-August. And uh, it took me about a month and a half to get an appointment with the family physician uh, after I found out that the pain wasn't going away. So I was, so in the meantime, uh, I tried my best to do exercises without, um, Without the, without the epidural before I found out that it was a disc herniation. And then once I got the disc herniation, then they gave me 80 milligrams of methylprednisolone for the injection. And I'll say, um, the experience with having the injection was actually pretty good. Um, I mean, the only, the pain, the, surprisingly, the most painful part about doing an epidural is the, um, uh, is the freezing. So they usually give you a bit of freezing, so that way when they put the actual steroid in, then uh, it actually won't hurt at all. There won't be any fit pain aside from pressure, but then once that pressure is gone for about five minutes, then you feel, uh, 
you feel better within 24 hours, which is what happened with me. My pain was on average an eight out of 10, but that slowly went down to about a two out of 10. So that's good. Now, as you can see here, um, if you take a closer look, uh, some parts are still a little bit uh, lumpy, so we gotta even that out. And once it's all evened out, then we can start to put in the granola chips. I, sorry, the, uh, the granola flakes here. So we gotta make sure that it's nice and even. Or actually, actually what we're gonna do with the granola chips is we're gonna make these, uh, we, these ones we're gonna even out. But what we're not going to, what we're waiting for this is to make sure that it's warm. Still a bit cold for the time being, but that's why they said for five minutes. So right now we're about halfway there. So we're just gonna do it, see? You always gotta stir nice and slow like so, because um, remember, whenever we stir stir inside very slowly, then uh, then it gets nice, then it's very comfortable. But if you do it too fast, then um, you know, you'll be creating a lot of friction and it'll get all crusty. But if you do it at just the right speed and just gradually take that wooden thing in there, and just stir it gradually, and nothing can go wrong and you'll expect nothing but satisfactory results. Another option you can do, I've seen some people do with um, hot chocolate, is they like to put a bit of, uh, they like to Irish it up with either whiskey or they put in some bourbon. But of course, you know, um, we're, since it's not yet Christmas, even though it's close to the holidays, we got to make sure that we're always on our best behavior. Only, only once we're behind the scenes and we're ready for the, ready for the erotic stuff, then we can uh, move on to that step. So we got that going, very good. I'm just going to feel it a bit. Well, that's, that's also why we got a wooden spoon here as well, so that way we can touch it like that. Yep, needs a few more minutes. Now the recipe calls for five minutes, but um, you know, depending on what kind of stove top you have, it could be a little more, could be a little less. But it is looking really, really good. So yeah, oh, oh, looks like it's, uh, Looks like some of it accidentally spilled onto the stove top. That's okay. We're all set. Not to worry. Not to worry. Your fellow pervert is still okay for the time being. I mean, I would be feeling much worse if it wasn't for the epidural. That's for sure. Looks like I'll have to wait like at least uh, another two more months before I can get my next one. And that's assuming that I don't have any progress with this one. But I will say it has helped me a lot in terms of uh, helping me use a stationary bike to bike more and uh, to do a lot more um, activities that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise without the injection. All right, so that is looking good. So what we're gonna do right now is, ooh, that is looking nice and creamy. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're gonna put some of this in here and we're gonna spread it apart evenly like so. Perfect. And the reason for this is uh, now we're just gonna watch it melt away, melt away. And that should uh, nicely uh, melt everything. We may need to increase the heat a little bit. So that way it's not scalding. And then once it's all evenly distributed in there, then it should be able to uh, melt nicely. And then last but not least, we have our little uh, eighth teaspoon of vanilla extract that we're also going to mix in there, like so. There we go. And we just mix it like so. So as you can see, it's been more than five minutes. So usually it's calls to do it for five minutes, but uh, you know, in this case, um, I think we could afford to do it for a little bit more. So that way it's uh, nice and hot. Okay, that's good. Oh, 
I guess they've also added chocolate chips because, um, you know, it's easier to melt, whereas with this stuff, it'll obviously a little bit, be a bit harder to melt, but that's okay. That's why it's good to try new things. So that way, when you screw up, you know what you did wrong and you learn from it. Hence is the way of life. I mean, experience is the name we give to our mistakes. If you don't believe me, ask Oscar Wilde. Oh, that's right, he's dead. Oh, well. But at least there's still his books. And I am familiar that he is the kind of person that is uh, quite fond of uh, long wooden things. Thank you very much. Okay. What I'm also going to try and do is I'm going to try to break these apart. So that way makes it easier to break off. Some of these chunks are quite big and I know a lot of you haunt mamas out there uh, prefer the chunkiness in the part of your body that um, that makes uh, men very uh, very enticed to just go after you like a lion or a tiger. But me on the other hand I like to uh, well I like my chunkiness uh, as well as on another certain part, but I'm more of a smooth guy with, uh, with preference of melons with extra fat inside. So that way there's more goodness to spread and the more fat I uh, drink in, the more muscles I can convert, uh, the more muscles I can get from converting that nice old good fat. that. Let's whiff it. Okay. Oh, that's a very nice smell we're getting from, uh, from uh, roast, from melting the uh, chocolate milk, so that's good. So what I'll do now is I'll turn it off, and then we'll just let this cool off for a bit. And we're just gonna take a, a mug and pour some of this delicious, hopefully delicious chocolate milk in there. And then you have your preference of serving it with some whipped cream on top. But for me, uh, well, since this is a sample, we're going to start uh, very slowly. And as well, so I don't pour all over the stovetop, I'm going to be wise and take a metal spoon, in, a metal soup spoon instead. That's right, there we go. Better safe than sorry. Ain't that right, Romer? Damn right. Okay, see, I already spilled, but uh, that's okay. Spilling is okay when it's in small amounts. But, you know, women like it when we spill in larger amounts, which I tell them, don't be greedy. Start small, start with small portions, and then we'll feed you larger ones. So that way you can appreciate it more. Can't have it all at once. Or can you? No, 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 you can't have it all at once. Otherwise, we'd be spoiling you, and that's not fair, and then you wouldn't be appreciative. So, here we are. There we have it. Some nice, delicious, nice, delicious hot chocolate for the season with some granola chunks mixed in there with cacao. Let's try her up. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is delicious. Oh, my. Let's just say that Tug won't be getting a piece of this chunky goodness, will he? Only if he's been nice. And trying not to be naughty with that voice of his. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure did. And I will see you in the next cooking video slash live stream. Cheers.